Hey everybody, it's Jay Knight here again, and I want to do a camera review. I want to look at a Mamiya. Not going medium format, but I'm going retro. But this is the Mamiya 500 DTL C Core. Uh, the owner tells me that it's been sitting in storage forever. Uh, not forever, for, for a couple years. Uh, and it's it just been sitting there doing nothing, uh, not working. Gave it to me to see if I could revive it. Uh, what I did was open it up, open up the battery compartment, cleaned it out with a little bit of vinegar, um, and uh, within minutes of putting in a new battery, uh, the meter was back working, and it, it's fine. It's a great little camera. Uh, I've been hoping to get my hands on an old film camera like this for a long time. The 500 stands for, obviously, the uh, top shutter speed. The uh, DTL stands for dual pattern through the lens metering. State of the art tech when this thing was released in the late 60s. Nearly a 50 year old camera, well over 40 years old, and uh, still works today. And the great thing about this camera though is that it's mostly mechanical. So if the battery does die, you lose your metering, which is not a good thing, by the way, it, at least you can still the shutter will still fire uh, the cam the uh, the film will still advance to the next shot. Now let me explain that DTL. All right, so there's a, a switch right here on the side. You see the S and the A. Now the S stands for spot metering. The A stands for average metering. And you switch between those to decide which one you wanna uh, you wanna shoot on for that particular picture. All right, on the top you have the uh, the dial for your shutter speed. There's all the way down to B, bulb, and all the way up to 500. You pull it out to change your um, the type of film that you're shooting on. So if it's on 200, you pull it up a little bit, and this will turn and go to, let's see, I have it on 100, 200 right now because I have 200 film in there so there you go uh, this is your shutter release this is your rewind for your film you push it in to get your spot meter to turn the meter on so that it'll once you push it in then you know that you got the right it'll stop down and show you what it actually it, the picture will actually look like once you take it all right button on the top turns the meter off and uh, turns it puts that shutter in its closed position above the um, spot and average um, switch this is where you would put your sh your um, your flash plug in your flash um, you'd have to get a sync cord for the flash and you usually pl plug it into the um, bottom one this right here this uh, silver piece right here, pull that up and that will open your um, your film compartment back here. Just pull that up straight up and it, and it pops open. Bottom, that's your battery compartment. It's a very small battery. I think they use them for hearing aids and, and other types of things. Um, and that's it. All right, before I end this review, there's two things that I want to mention about this camera. Um, number one, the only way to turn off the uh, light meter is to take a picture, hit the button, and then hit that button. Hit your, hit your shutter, take a picture, and then hit the shutter lock button. Do not advance your film. If you advance your film, then your light meter comes on again, and you'll be uh, gauging light until your next shot. So boom, that and that. Second, the only way to remove the film is this tiny button on the bottom. You have your battery button here, your battery compartment here, and this side is your film release button. Hit that, and that'll allow you to, re that'll release it this side to rewind the film into this side. If you forget to do that, you're gonna ruin your film. Uh, I did ruin one roll of film by, uh, by doing that, so. Anyway, that's my review. Uh, so far, that's my initial <laughs> review of this uh, camera. Up next, I'll be recording a full review 
of the Mamiya Secor 500 DTL. Stay tuned.